beautiful people today i'm cooking nice chicken uh, roast chicken with capolina which is a tea variety of italian pasta at this moment i'm just breaking the pasta and meanwhile i would allow my bring my water to boiling point i will be steaming the pasta hence i would use oil and uh, water just to mix the pasta so to avoid it sticking together so the oil uh, if you sprinkle oil on it and mix it very well although when you add oil into water uh, in when you are cooking other pasta it nece necessarily doesn't stop the pasta sticking together but in this method it is so necessary you need to add the oil whether it's olive oil vegetable oil you need to add it on the side i'm just cleaning my chicken now i it is the second phase uh, i'm just going to turn the the pasta again i would advise that you transfer everything in a bowl and just to make life easy for yourself and then add water and mix it i only add oil from the beginning so just a small quantity of oil I start cooking the pasta because this is a long process so uh, if you prefer to boil it uh, uh, that's fine but the outcome would not be the same because I don't want my um, pasta looking wet. Uh, next I just after mixing everything thoroughly I transfer it back in the steamer so you definitely need a steamer to do this. At this moment I have cleaned my chicken now I'm just slicing and this is to the cuts allow the seasoning to get into the meat for better flavor throughout and also help speed the cooking. Uh, so I add in my all purpose seasoning, uh, one cube maggi, lemon juice, uh, black pepper, one uh, table teaspoon, and um, uh, that's um, mixed herbs, uh, garlic and ginger, tomato, uh, puree add habanero uh, chili uh, flakes uh, just a small quantity uh, this is not spicy or intense as the the fresh uh, habanero uh, pepper uh, just uh, start mixing uh, to ensure that uh, you know the chicken is well marinated I add um, cornstarch uh, because I would, this would be going in the oven so it's just something I discovered I decided to you know experiment on it before which uh, works very well you don't need to add it so you can opt out and just continue mixing and um, just um, at this uh, moment you just want the seasoning uh, to go into the chicken let's transfer our marinated chicken in our baking tray and then add the remaining uh, juice or season just to cover uh, ensure that your oven is preheated at 180 degree this will allow you to roast your chicken perfectly on the side we are checking our pasta after 10 minutes we transfer it back in the bowl we add a little water milk i did not add any oil so the i only added the oil at the beginning so we don't want excess oil and i use olive oil it's more healthy please check the description box i will leave the uh, list of ingredients don't forget to hit that subscribe button whoop whoop, whoop. <laughs> my beautiful people it on your steamer once you fill the two layers cover let's move to the next step at this moment i'm just making extra let's say my sauce so i add uh, two teaspoon of olive oil uh, butter like uh, one uh, tablespoon of butter so the oil is uh, heated so I'm just adding my onion so just stir um, for roughly one to two minutes 
Then add the tomato puree, uh, one tablespoon, my ginger, garlic. So I love the fresh ginger. I love fresh ginger and garlic. So it just have that uh, flavor in it. Um, so just continue uh, stir, um, depending on the the pan you have. But it is wise just to pay attention to what you are cooking, so to avoid you know burning burning the food. Uh, just don't forget my friendly neighbor mm. uh, on the side. Uh, as we did before, uh, add water, um, uh, then uh, that's the last stage for me, and then uh, add um, my frozen uh, uh, mixed veg, and um, continue with my egg sauce on the side, add the uh, habanero uh, pepper flakes, black pepper, paprika, all-purpose seasoning. If you want, you can you know, omit the all-purpose seasoning, just add salt. That will do. Uh, less is better. And uh, continue stirring uh, every one minute or two. Please do not forget to subscribe, share and like. Now the chicken leg, uh, first part, let's flip the side, flip the sides and then let it put it back in the oven and let it continue baking for another 45, one hour. So we can see our sauce on the sides, I just add a little bit of water, let it simmer for a minute and then put it aside. Now you can see our pasta. I can boldly and confidently say that it is cooked. Once it is cooked, you can push in uh, your finger and it will cut immediately. Um, do not try to overcook the pasta as they will become mushy. Let's cover and put aside. Voila, our chicken, it's ready. You can see that the chicken is no longer pink and the juices run clear this indicate that it's cooked thoroughly now look at this guys like serious look at the juice this is so amazing like the flavor the chicken legs are so tender and juicy they said the proof is in the pudding and evidently it's demonstrated Thanks for watching my beautiful people.